Okay guys, let's look at three-dimensional figures now. Here are some examples of a sphere. Just think about a basketball or a baseball. Ooh, I love ice cream. This ice cream cone is another figure, a cone. Here are some other cones. Notice that a cone has one base, which is a circle, and the other side comes to a point or a vertex. Next, we have some examples of a cylinder. A cylinder has two bases that are circles. These bases are parallel and congruent. That means they're the same size. Here are some other examples. These are examples of a rectangular prism. If we unfolded a rectangular prism, we would see that the sides are always rectangles. This is true for any prism. The reason this is called a rectangular prism is because the bases are rectangles. Okay, wait a minute. These look like cubes. They are, but since squares are special rectangles, cubes are special rectangular prisms. Finally, the last figure we're going to talk about is a triangular prism. Just like a rectangular prism, the sides of triangular prisms are rectangles. The difference is the bases, the top and the bottom, are triangles. Just like with the rectangular prism, though, these triangles are the same size and they're parallel. Okay, now it's your turn to answer a question. 